Hey, it's Trevor here from West Edmonton Coin and Stamp. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Window into the Collectiverse. We are going to unbox. A lot of people have been really excited and waiting for this guy to come in. We are gonna open this guy up. This is the Hot Toys Thanos from Endgame. So there is a, a, like I said, a lot of hype behind this guy and we really wanna get this guy open. So we are gonna go ahead and open this sucker up. Oh my gosh, look at all those cool accessories. Mm. Do we have a knife there? No, don't throw a knife. Thank you, hand it to me gently. Thank you very much. All right. What do we have here? Oh, yes. Ah, the smell of fresh plastic. This guy's pretty hefty. He's a hefty one. Ho, 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 ho. This is awesome. Whoa! Oh, oh. There's his, what do you call it, a glaive? So that's actually a separate piece. So we'll pull that sucker out of there. Wah, 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 wah. That is awesome. So we'll put that down to the side. Oh. I just realized I sound like Darth Vader. We will get this guy out of here. Oh boy. Oh look, it's a little protective plastic thing. It's like a plastic helmet. Pull that off. Wow. That is some crazy detail. Oh, this is the head I've been wanting. Mm. The angry Thanos head. Okay, so this is pretty sweet. So we're gonna take away all of the protective pieces. So he is ready to pose and display. Let's get rid of all the pieces of plastic everywhere because those are in no way appealing, but necessary. <laughs> and you know what? We're gonna do this right off the bat because you know what, he is never going to be displayed with this head. Oh, come on off. Huh. There we go. We are gonna put on the angry Thanos head because, well, he looks so cool when he's angry. Good. And, well, we can, there's a cool helmet, so it looks like it, uh, you can have, oh, that is awesome. How cool is that? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit him here for a second and let's see how well he stands up by himself. Can he stand up by himself? This is the question. The question of the day. Can Thanos stand on his own? And of course he can because they only make quality at Hot Toys. You gotta get him in the right. Holy, it's got like, it's got locking joints, which is always helpful, especially when you have a figure of this size. Oh, we just need to get some even weight distribution here. Oh, there, perfect. Now, while he's standing there, we're gonna pull out the base because it's always easier to get these guys to stand when you have the base. So we'll just put this behind here for now. We're gonna pull out the gauntlet in a second because that's how we're gonna wanna pose him. And put that down there. And of course, he comes with a nice big Avengers Endgame base. So we'll just put that up there because that's how we're going to want to display them. And oh, look at that. It's going to fit nicely 
right underneath his loincloth. Fantastic. They were thinking when they made this one. I always found it so awkward when you're trying to display a figure and he's got this thing just jammed up his crotch. It's really awkward. Um, so it's, this is a very nice design. Um, sick. That is awesome. Okay, so now let's bring up the other accessories and let's get a cool pose going on here. So we're going to pull off this one and we are going to put on his gauntlet. And you know what? I think we should do the... I think we should switch the fist for the snap. Ta-da! And this one has the light up feature. We don't have any batteries in it right now, so we're not going to worry about that. But we're going to give the snap because that is what changes everything. Ta-da! Snap. All right. So we'll put that in there, that in there, that in there. And so now we've got him to a point that we can go ahead and pose him the way that we want. And then we'll go ahead and put him in the cabinet. So that was our unboxing of Thanos from Endgame. Pay attention in the coming weeks for more unboxings, more info on comic books, on coins, on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, D&D. &D. There's so many things here at West Edmonton going to stamp that I highly encourage you to come and take a look. We're actually located in the world's biggest mall, West Edmonton Mall. And if you pop down, you can talk to one of our specialists in some of the various departments. We have an unbelievable amount of selection to choose from. And I'm sure anybody could spend hours in here as I can just looking at these amazing toys. Anyways, Trevor here. Thank you for watching Window into the Collectoverse. Until next time.